They say the time of heroes is over. That if you're different, you're dangerous. But I know the truth. The world will always need heroes. We just need to reassemble. What is good you do? What's you here with another video on the Marvel Avengers video game that is coming to the PS4 and Xbox One and PC. This was formerly called the Avengers Project, which I think was the much better title. So we have some pretty cool news. So Square Enix themselves revealed a picture that says embrace your powers. Now this does officially confirm that this title will be coming to PS4, Xbox One, PC and Google's new platform as well, which is pretty cool. So this does indicate the game will be coming out within the next year because we are expecting the PS5 and the new Xbox to come out at some point next year, being Christmas next year at latest. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all the videos. So let's get into the video. So there has been a rumored date when this video game will be coming out but like i said guys it is only rumored so a twitter user tweeted this amazon has listed an square enix game yet to be announced for the ps4 xbox one with a release date of the 15th of may 2020 and then he showed a picture it said 60 dollars tried to click the link but obviously it's been taken down pretty fast so if Amazon is listing it, this could be a slight leak because big websites do get release dates before the public. But it is a bit strange to so take it with a pinch of salt. But like I said, guys, the fact that they are revealing in this picture one day before the epic reveal of this video game, which we cannot wait to come out. It does say PS4 and Xbox One and PC. So it will come out within the next year. So this could very well have some validity, have some presence, and it could be real because why would it say PS4, Xbox One if it was coming to the PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox? I've got no idea what that's called. So that is pretty cool. So expect it soon. Is the two-year wait going to be worth it? We first got a trailer two years ago that said Avengers reassemble and it did literally indicate that Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, etc. will be in this video game. So I was sent this image that you would see on the thumbnail and it's come from 4chan. That is kind of a bit of a dodgy website, a bit like Reddit. So you've got to take a pinch of salt. But that is rumoredly the case for the PlayStation 4 variation of Marvel's Avenger. Now it could be very well true. As we know, with these big expos with Comic-Con, with San Diego, Comic-Con and with E3, a lot of info does leak early. Now, it is going to be simple, it's going to be bleak, it is going to be basic. If you do look at the PlayStation PS4 Spider-Man case, that is pretty basic. I'm not expecting anything more than just a logo on it, which is pretty cool. And this, it's called Marvel Avengers. It could have some validity to it. It's going to be really interesting. Tomorrow is going to be freaking awesome. Hopefully, I can get the video up early enough for you guys because as you know i do live in europe so the time difference is quite big so whenever the news does drop i will do a video on it the next day obviously with the time zone difference obviously i hope in it's not going to be too far behind for you guys as i am trying to keep you guys up to date with all the latest and greatest marvel avengers news so we do know that it will have these six original avengers rumoredly being in this video game which sounds pretty cool it has got a destiny feel you can customize literally everything on it it's going to be pretty interesting there are rumors going around that because spider-man is exclusive to the playstation at the moment with the insomniac game contract it is going there is rumors and i think this would really affect this game in a negative way if spider-man was exclusive to the avengers project aka marvel avengers on the ps4 version only i think that would be a bad idea if that's the way they were going to go down it 
And also, it, it's really apparent that it is set in the same universe as Spider-Man PS4 because you've got to have New York City. It's called Marvel Avengers. We know that Avengers Tower is pinnacle to this video game. So you can't really do this unless it is set in New York and you've got the Sanctorium, Doctor Strange Sanctorium, etc. So it is going to be very interesting. I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, they do kind of have to have get this game come out pretty early. I was talking to someone a few hours ago about it, that if the PS5 is coming out at the end of next year, they do kind of have to get this game out ASAP. Usually, the release dates are Christmas, November, December, January, around that time. So, it coming out in May, it, it wouldn't be that suspicious if it did come out to come out May the 15th. If this Amazon leaked reveal date is true, then, yeah, it would be pretty cool. I would prefer it to come out earlier. They have been working on it too for two years. We have not found any new information on this game for the last two years, which as a Marvel fan is very frustrating because as you guys know, this channel is real. We are not fake. We don't just make content for the sake of making content. Anyone that knows me knows I'm a massive Final Fantasy fanboy, Pokemon fanboy, Marvel, DC. We're not fake. This channel is real. So we are very hyped. I only talk about things on this channel that I love, that I want to talk about. So I'm so excited. There's so many cool games coming to E3 this week. We've got the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Apparently, we're getting a lot of new information about that. Hopefully, there could be some info about Spider-Man PS5, but I don't think that's going to be happening because PS PlayStation themselves aren't there in full capacity, although there will be a lot of games that will be coming to the PS4 second party, but it still could be exclusive. But like, like we say, and there at PlayStation, it's sad. They're not there this year. I presume it's because they haven't really got a lot to reveal. Although they do have some punch you in the face titles like Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I think as a gaming fan, it should come to Xbox One as well. Because as you know, the company Square Enix has taken a big hit making Final Fantasy VII Remake. They've been working on it for four to five years at least. They've been working on this Avengers project for years, at least two to three years, if not longer. They need to start getting money back because Tomb Raider didn't do very well. That is why Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2 has literally been ported to every platform, including Nintendo Switch, which was a great move. And they're all on Xbox One, which is pretty cool because... You know, people do switch from PlayStation to Xbox back and forth, back and forth like a yo-yo. So it is interesting. I do think most games should generally be multi-platform, but the Xbox and PlayStation do need their own like exclusive IPs to entice people in. I don't think it should be a case that you buy a PlayStation and Xbox just on the premise that one console is more powerful than the other. They should have exclusive games to their given console. So guys, let me know. Are you really hyped for this video game? I am so freaking hyped. I really am hoping for a brand new trailer, three to four minutes, a playable demo at E3. That has been pretty cool because it has been rumored for Final Fantasy VII Remake and also for the Avengers Project that there will be a playable demo for at least the people at E3 or that it will drop on PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live, I think it's called, or Xbox Game Pass or something like that. No idea about the Xbox because I don't currently play my Xbox, but it is going to be freaking cool. We will try to keep you up to date with all the latest and greatest Marvel DC news that is centric pop culture news around the E3 week, which is this very week. And it's gonna be cool, guys. So hopefully I get some new subscribers around this content as it is a, like a spin-off from my normal Marvel DC content. And I am so freaking excited. So much hype. More hype than Spider-Man PS4 because this is gonna have Iron Man, Hulk, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Thor, Captain America, etc. Which is freaking insane. That is why this game will do great. Marvel Studios, Disney has invested a lot of money into this game, apparently. So it's going to be a complete universe online co-op, which is going to be pretty cool. I hope you can build like a universe online and have your own Avengers squad. And it's going to be pretty cool. Why? Because no one knows anything about this game do we? Except for the minor leaks that have come out, no one knows anything. I will leave the link down below to the Twitter user called Andrew. I will leave his Twitter down below. It's pretty interesting. Um, whether they got the date right or wrong, it is a, a strong indication that it will be a 2020 reveal date. So it's going to be pretty cool. I still prefer the title Avengers Project. Let me know down below, guys, and I'll try to keep you up to date with all the latest news 
on this and Final Fantasy 7 and anything else that I think my subscribers would be interested in hearing. So it's pretty cool, guys. So let me know down below. How hyped are you for this? And do you think this release date is real? May. 2020 the 15th of may 2020 it could have some validity i really hope it comes this year but like i say guys alongside with the pokemon games i don't want some, them to rush any video game just to get it out faster like i don't like them to rush the marvel movies etc just to get them out early so guys i will catch you in another video very soon and please subscribe if you haven't already i want to hit 100k this year anyway guys i'll catch you in that next video very soon catch you later